So what's good people? Welcome to another investing video and in this video we are going to talk about a little something that I just picked up from the coin shop. It is a painted 1999 American Silver Eagle. Now this thing was actually sitting on, um, it was in like a little tray with a whole bunch of regular eagles just sitting on the top and it of course stood out because it was painted and I had never seen a painted uh, silver eagle before I didn't even know it was a thing so I asked the uh, the guy behind the counter how much was it and uh, it was actually 30 bucks the same as all the other eagles I figured because it was painted that it might cost more but nope he said it was $30 the same as the others and if you've watched any of my previous videos uh, especially my really early ones You'd know that I love painted coins. I don't have many of them right now. This would be my third one. I do need to get some more. So I went ahead and grabbed it. I did some research on these coins and um, there are some that are like they're colored in the front and in the back. This one was only colored on the front. And I saw that it's actually not done by the US Mint. These coins are bought from the US Mint and then private companies will actually paint them and then resell them and so if you look at some of the other painted coins out there you'll see that there's all kinds of different designs there's some that has the background colored as well as Lady Liberty and some will have um, coloring on the back as well and they have some for both types the type 1 and the type 2 and I really like this one just because not only did they color it, but they colored it in the American flag. It's like if you look at the regular eagle, the dress on Lady Liberty, it doesn't have any stripes on it. Of course, she does have the American flag in the back, but they had to actually put the stripes on it themselves in order to make it look like she's wearing the flag. And then they added some coloring to the sun behind Lady Liberty and all those things. Plus, it's a 1999, which is kind of a cool year, right before year 2000, when uh, everything went nuts with the dot-com bubble. And everyone was thinking about the Y2K bug and all that stuff. It was a good time. It's a good time. Kind of funny looking back at it now. But this is... Um, this is brings up a very interesting question that I was thinking since this is painted by uh, other companies and not by the actual mint how do you think that affects the value of the coin because it's essentially an altered coin at that point I could think of some purists would probably say that it's worth less because it was altered by an outside force whereas some people might say it's worth more because the alterations look good and if you if it's something that you like it adds value to the coin and of course there's very limited amount of these that are actually colored and so if you're a collector like myself you would think that that might actually make it more valuable but I just wanted to leave it open to debate and see what you guys think about it because um, I like it. I think it's like I would sell this for more than I would a regular one just because I like the design on it. But I can definitely see some people might see this and say no it's not worth as much as a real. Well it, they're both real but it's not worth as much as a regular one because it's been altered by a third party. And so what do you guys think? Do you think that it should be worth the same as this or if it should be worth more? And also, do you think I should get some more of these? Uh, there are some other designs, some that I actually like better than this one. Looks a little bit better. I might actually just go ahead and grab some, but definitely wanted to see what you guys think before I do. And do you think people should buy these third-party altered coins? Do you think it's something that should be done by third parties anyway or should the US Mint start doing these I think it'd be a cool idea if they did 
But that was pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to show this bad boy off. Show off this baby. It's a nice new addition to my collection. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And I will catch you guys in the next video.